Hello, hello, and welcome to the review of the new Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III. The third version cost about 1,200 euros, so not the cheapest cam for your holiday. Now let's have a look what's inside the box. First, there's the camera, which weighs 399 grams, including the battery and the memory card. Just to make it clear, at the beginning, you can't change the lens of this camera. If you think that this statement is not necessary, oh yes, it is. Don't know why people still expect way too much of such a compact camera. The body measures 11.5 cm length, 7.8 cm in height and 5.1 cm in depth. I really enjoyed having the camera in my hands due to its great and robust build quality. At the bottom is the battery compartment for the NB13L battery with its 1250 mAh. Next to the battery is a slot for the memory card. Last but not least you will be able to mount the camera on every tripod. At the side there are a few ports such as a mini HDMI connection, a micro USB port and a slot to attach a remote control. In addition to that you can charge the camera from every USB port. Therefore you can use a power bank, your car charger or any available USB port of your notebook. The inbuilt flash has to be manually pulled up to use it. The only obvious reason for the hot shoe, in my opinion, would be for the use of an external microphone or a video light, but not for a Canon speed light, which results in an imbalance of your camera. Once again, because I see that question coming already, no! You can't connect an external microphone. Using the electronic viewfinder is useful while taking photos during the day, in bright sunlight and of course you're not suffering any reflections from your screen. It offers you a resolution of 2.4 million dots, which is good for a quick check of the actual image quality. If you wear glasses you can adjust the dioptry at any time with the switch next to the viewfinder. At your side you have the 3 inch LC touch display with a resolution of 1 million dots which is enough to have a brief check of the image quality. You can swipe through your photos like you are used to it with your phone. Change the aperture, ISO and the shutter speed and do basically everything with your fingers. Another feature on this camera is the ring around the lens. Just turn it to slide through your photos and videos. Use it to change the settings such as ISO, shutter speed and the aperture. If you consider getting this camera for a person who is not used to have such a high quality digicam, it's still super easy to use. The menu is intuitive, so as on all current Canon models. Connecting the camera to your smartphone has never been so easy. First of all, there is an extra video on my channel with a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do this. Apart from that, you require the Canon Camera Connect app, which is available for free for all iOS and Android devices. Press the Wi-Fi button on the side of the camera, enable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your smartphone and control the camera from your phone. Transfer the files onto your phone and share them with all your friends via WhatsApp, Telegram, Mail or Instagram. It's for free and there is no external network needed. Anyways, if you feel unsure, watch my video tutorial on my channel. The Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III is equipped with a 3x optical zoom. If you make use of the Zoom Plus and Digital Zoom, you get up to 12 times zoom. Starting wide open with an aperture of f2.8 gives you a great blur background. If you keep zooming, especially during low light conditions, you will see that you get to the camera's limit quite fast. The zoom is sufficient for any kind of holiday, city trip and for concerts. You won't be able to see any details on a lion's face while being on safari because therefore you would require more than just a 3 times optical zoom for better image quality. Using the minimum focus distance of just 10 cm is enough to get close to all your subjects, such as food and flowers with a great blurry background. The autofocus worked super quick and precise on the G1X Mark III. Unfortunately, the minimum shutter speed is just a 2000th of a second, which could not be sufficient for bright daylight conditions. 
For taking photos and videos during sunny days, you can make use of the integrated ND filter for three stops exposure compensation. Going from bright daylight into the dark, let's have a look on the low light performance of the G1X Mark III. Using a tripod is always the best option to keep the ISO as low as possible. In case you require a faster shutter speed, you can extend the ISO till 25600, which does not look too bad on this APS-C sensor camera. However, I would recommend to keep the ISO as low as possible and for good quality photos and printouts, don't go beyond ISO 3200. Continuous shooting allows you to take up to 9 photos a second with a fixed autofocus or 7 with the autofocus in continuous autofocus for almost 30 photos in JPEG and up to 20 photos in RAW or in combination. We really enjoyed using the video mode on the new Canon PowerShot G1X Mark III. The camera supports 1080p with up to 60 frames per second which could be sufficient for a bit of slow motion. As I have mentioned before, there's no port to attach an external microphone to the camera. Nevertheless, you can record up to 29 minutes and 59 seconds, which depends on the memory of your SD card. We had the impression that the 5-axis image stabilizer is really helpful for taking photos with a longer exposure time and for smooth video recording. To make use of the creative filters of the G1X, use the upper mode dial to get to the SCN mode. The filters are super easy and simple to use and there is no need for post-processing. Girls can enjoy the smooth skin filter for selfies, which can be sent to their boyfriends straight away. Unfortunately, we can't use the filters for video. Let's have a short conclusion. For the time the camera is still super expensive, especially because of the variable aperture. It could have been a great vlogging camera if we would be able to put an external microphone on top. Apart from that, the camera feels super nice and valuable. The image quality is great, so as the connection between your smartphone and the camera. I would like to thank Canon Germany for the camera, Melly for your support and if you would like to purchase the camera, please do so in Frankfurt's best camera store, GM Photo, near the Frankfurt Central Station and the airport. Happy New Year! Tschüss aus Deutschland!